Literally the weirdest skate park I've ever seen in my life. The transitions on My new backyard reveal in three, two, one. What is up guys? Welcome back to another brand new vlog. Today is the day that I actually leave the Gold Coast, man. Look at this view. This is the bed that I've been sleeping in like every single day. You've got freaking trams here. I didn't even know you had trams until last night. Because actually last night, yesterday was my foot like was my last, not my first, my last full day in the Gold Coast. And I didn't really vlog, although I did catch a night session in Surfers Paradise. And I actually got I got one of these trams to Surfers Paradise last night. It was a pretty fun session. I caught up with an old friend from Sydney, Dylan Connell, and a couple of his friends, and we filmed an Insta clip. So if you want to see that edited, like the edited version of all those clips, it'll be up on my Instagram, probably with the song, something trendy, you know, something that gets the likes. So definitely go check out that Instagram edit on my Instagram, at Jack Dow. Shout out to Dylan Connell for filming that. But uh, yeah, yesterday was my last full day on the Gold Coast, and today is my technically last day. Uh, I actually have my flight from... Brisbane, which is like an hour train away at 5.30 p.m. today, and it's currently, what is the time? It's 9.18, I gotta check out by 10, which is under half an hour, no wait, over half an hour, sorry, I dropped out of school. About 40 minutes from now, I gotta, uh, I gotta be checked out of this hotel. This is the state of my, look, actually no, not just my suitcase, this is the state of my whole room. I got shoes, I got pants, towels, shirts, I got freaking biscuits on my bed, I got a hat, water bottles, more, I, dude, like my room is a complete mess, and I think it's a little bit, oh, it's not as bad out here, I just got, uh, oh, actually, these are my new shoes, if you haven't seen these, they are fresh, socks, I got a hoodie, I got some clothes out here drying, because actually I did some washing last night, I know, I did washing all on my own, I pressed the buttons on the machine, and we got heaps of clothes hanging out there, we got my laptop, chargers, we got my phone, we got another shirt, spare water bottle, so I got a lot of packing to do, that's enough talking for me, oh, we also got my scooter, I gotta take that apart, a lot of people ask how I bring my scooter on the plane, well, I actually just put it in my suitcase, because it actually fits, I like, I, like, I take the bars off, but, uh, I'm in no rush to take my bars off, because I've got a little bit of an idea, I'm not gonna say what it is in case it doesn't go down, but if it does go down, it's probably the whole reason you clicked on this video, and the fact that I've spoken this deeply into it now, probably, I uh, look, look, I, I, I kinda know I'm gonna do it, all these stupid ideas I have, I'm always like, yeah, I'm gonna do it, and then it's like, oh, should I, but then what, like, when the time comes, I'll usually end up doing it, look, I'm not gonna say what it is, the fact that I've spoken this far probably means I'm gonna do it but regardless if you still have no idea maybe the thumbnail I look I don't know but let's just say let's just say that I could get kicked out of the hotel but hey like I'm look, I, 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 like I'm leaving in half an hour anyway but uh, that'll all be after I've checked out because I don't want to have to like grind the rail into the hotel pool <laughs> and then check out okay okay that's what I'm gonna try and do I'm gonna try and grind the hotel pool handrail like caveman board slide grind down into the pool with the GoPro I'm going to get in a lot of trouble. Anyway, that's enough talking for now. Gold Coast has been absolutely amazing, let alone this hotel room, but uh, all good things must come to an end. So uh, I've got about a half an hour, 40 minutes to get out of here, so I better start packing. Okay, house cleaning just came into my room. I have to be out of here in like 10 minutes from now. I'm getting nervous. I pretty much got everything stacked up. I just have to shove it all in my suitcase and I'm out of here. Is she still at the door? I wish I had like a peephole thing in to see if she was still at the door. Because the cleaning lady came in to clean my room and I was the only one in here. Now she can hear me talking to someone. But I'm not speaking to no one. I'm speaking to my camera. Jeez. Okay, suitcase is packed. I've actually got my old... I've got my old shoes on because I got some new shoes the other day. I don't want to damage them in the pool. Bag is packed. I got everything. This camera is going to go back in my... Hang on a second. I can hear the house cleaning lady. It is officially just after 10 a.m. So I was supposed to... I mean, technically, I should be out of the hotel right now. Um, according to the hotel terms and conditions. Now, the other day, I actually lost one of my, uh, one of my cards to get into the hotel. One of these, you know, swipe cards. Like, I'll show you the corner. You know, one of those cards that you kind of, like, tap to get into the room. Uh, I lost one the other day. Then I got a spare from uh, from the lobby, from the reception. And um, long story short, uh, I found my old one. So now I have... I got two cards to uh, to unlock all the doors in this hotel. I'm going to return one of them. Uh, because I just realized, like, how am I supposed to check out and then go to the pool? Because you need one of the swipe cards to get into the pool area. I'm, I'm going to try to talk a little bit quieter because the lady could be right out there. Basically, I'm going to return one of the swipe card keys when I check out. And then use the other one to get into the pool. Uh, I can't use this camera, obviously, I think once I've checked out, then I start walking back to the pool area. They're already gonna think I'm up to no good. And if I have a camera this big out, then they're gonna kinda, then they're gonna know what I'm up to. Anyway, guys, go promote. I'm gonna try to be super sus downstairs as I check out. I've got the chest mount. I'll switch up to the chest mount once I'm in the pool area. Anyway, wish me luck. I'm all packed. I'm getting out of here. Gold Coast has been amazing, but this is how you leave a hotel in style.
<laughs> Did it boys! Oh my god. I don't think I grinded much by the time I hit the water. Oh, I'm soaking wet. I'm soaking, oh my god. I think there's a beach down here. And I'm gonna try and get changed in one of the change rooms. I really hope I've got everything. I can't go back there now. One of those dudes looks so mad. All right, where are the change rooms? I cannot believe that I actually just did that. I'm completely soaked. I just went down the road to the beach. I'm in a random, uh, in like a random toilet. It's kind of gross. And I'm soaking wet. I need to get changed. How many people? Uh, just me. Just one. Thank you. Thanks for being Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Goodbye. That was the uh, that was the taxi cab. Harry, um, not Harry Tate, the other Harry who who drove us to Brisbane the other day, who drove Harry Tate and I to Brisbane the other day, where Harry like cut open his leg. That Harry actually lives in Brisbane, and we actually spoke last night. Basically, what the plan now is, dude, I'm so happy I got that done. That was like something that I really wanted to do just before I left, and it's like a five star hotel. Was I think it's like four, four and a half, five star hotel. So it was super risky doing that, and uh, I'm changed. I'm all ready to go. I just spoke to uh, to Harry uh, just last night, and basically the plan is I'm waiting for a taxi right now. I just called the taxi, and uh, the taxi is going to take me. To the Gold Coast train station. I'm gonna get on a train and go all the way to Brisbane, which is like an hour. Brisbane and Gold Coast, like an hour apart. Then Harry uh, has films on Instagram. He's gonna pick me up from the train station. We're gonna hit a couple of his local parks. Then uh, at around probably four, he's gonna drop me off at the airport. Then I'm gonna get a, a plane. God, tongue twister. He's gonna drop me off at the airport. Then I'm gonna get a plane to uh, to Perth. But right now, I'm awaiting my taxi here at uh, here at the beach. And uh, the taxi's gonna take me to the train station. I'm gonna jump on a train and go all the way to Brisbane. Hit a couple of parks, last minute skate parks before I uh, fly out to Perth tonight. Elevator music man, on point. So I'm here now. I was supposed to get off at a station called Atlandi, I think, and instead I got off at a station called... I got off at Park Road. How stupid is this, right? In the Gold Coast, you have to press a button for the doors to open. Like, 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 what's the point of stopping at the train station if the doors aren't gonna open? Dude, I, I was like, at the doors, like, I, 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 I'm at the stop after where I was supposed to get off at. And, uh, the stop that I was supposed to get off at, I just had to call Harry and let him know that I was here instead. But, uh, I'm gonna go up and meet him somewhere on the road somewhere. But, uh, dude, I stood up at the stop that I was supposed to get off at, and, uh, I'm waiting at the doors. The train has stopped, and I'm like, okay, the doors are taking a while to open. I waited, I waited, I waited. Next thing I know, the train's freaking driving away and I'm just like bro I didn't even like my door didn't open and then I look to the side and I see there's a button which says press to open door Harry uh, has films is coming in at clutch right now and he's kind of come and pick me up from this train station I have no idea where we're gonna go after that we're gonna go to one of his local skate parks I think I just saw a couple of scooter kids like just up there somewhere so I assume there's probably a skate park around here somewhere so all right ladies man Harry's here to pick me up he made it he made guys it. we found Harry <laughs> Alright guys, we just drove for about probably 10 minutes from where Harry picked me up and we just rocked up to Paddington Skate Park. I've seen photos of this skate park online. It's like all the way through there. It's kind of in the bush and it recently got like redone. Looks like it's like the whole place got kind of resurfaced and apparently it's like not busy at all to what it's usually compared to. So it looks sick. We're going to go in there, have a quick little ride. Then we might hit another park later on. I got to be at the airport in about two and a half hours. We got a little bit of time to kill before my flight to Perth later tonight. Paddington Skate Park right now. It's massive. There are a couple of other guys here. Hello. Hey, hey. All right, guys, the first obstacle I'm going to sesh is this like up, across and down rail. It's square. It's perfect. I'm just going to like get the kind of like warm-up slash chill clips because I haven't ridden properly today yet. I'll go board up, board across, back lift down, lock in truck. Oh yeah, on this weird thing over there, I want to go like manual up it and then back loop as much as I can down it to whip out like on that yeah, you, you'll, you'll see it, you'll see it. Now I'm gonna try one of these things, like... 
You know those things where they spin on the Yeah, top? yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Hosea. It's Pressure's on Hosea. Hey! Shout out to Hosea. Oh, yeah. No, I gotta do a better one. Yeah. It's been a while since I've done a 5-0. Have you guys ever seen a scooter rider do this? Nope. No. No. It's weird. This is like such a unique obstacle. I've not seen this at any other. I've seen pole jams, but not like a rainbow rail pole jam before. If you get a first try, you have to do a backflip. If I get a first try, I gotta backflip it? Yeah. Alright, I'll try. I'll go board and then I'll get backflip. That was nice. Alright guys, we'll leave in Paddington. Honestly, such a fun park. I did not think it would be that good. That's probably one of the best parks I've ridden my, my whole... Wait, wait, we're in Brisbane, right? Oh, oh, we're in Brisbane. I was gonna say Gold Coast, but the best the best skate park I've ridden on this trip so far. Yeah, the reason we're just riding parks today is because I can't really miss my flight. We don't really have time to like go look for spots and everything. So, what's the skate park called? Toomble? Yeah, we got a Toomble, yeah. Toomble. Closest one towards the airport. It's like, so. Yeah, it's the closest one and to the like airport. One of the worst I've ridden as well. So it's, a, it's a really bad park. You just showed me a picture of it, but it'll be pretty fun. It's like a little like DIY quarter in there as well. Skate park number two for the day. This is probably the last thing we're going to have time for before I go to my flight. But we're like right near the airport. How far is the airport from here? Five like five minute drive. There's always weird skate parks out near the airport. Oh, there's actually a scooter out here and a skater. It's better than I thought in the photos. God, I wish I had a dirt scooter right now for these dirt jumps. God damn. Literally the weirdest skate park I've ever seen in my life. Like, I don't... Not sure if skate park or street spot. The transitions on the that, that little Insane thing. DIY in skate park. Yeah, I don't know who built this park. By the way guys, shout out to the man behind the camera has filmed. His Instagram will be on the screen right now. Follow him. He's been driving me around, filming me so much legit. Like it's so much better having to film. Well, if you like, let me know what you guys like the setup angles, the GoPro stuff, or someone filming me. I reckon like me getting filmed is like the best thing. Alright, I'll try uh, some stuff on this ledge. That slide's so good. What should I try? 5 0 double heel. I've never even tried that before. So tired, dude. Just got some OJ and some pizza. We're back at the car right now. That like that little skate park we rode just a second ago was honestly super fun. Like it was so bad, but I guess it's like a little bit of a challenge, and I kind of enjoy that. That's why I like riding DIY skate parks. But we're back at the car right now. My flight is in. Let me check. It's 4:20 p.m. My flight is at 5:30, so I should kind of be at the airport by like five, which I'll definitely make it. We're actually currently taking off my bars right now. It's like a five, 10 minute drive to the airport and then my flight will be in like half an hour. Pretty sure it's a four hour flight and then I land in Perth at like 9.30, get to my hotel probably by around 10 and then uh, tomorrow's my meet and greet. So I still got a little bit of the day to go up. We end up finishing this vlog around probably like 10, 10.30. So it's still a long, long, long day ahead. Finally at the airport. The time right now is just before five. I have to be at my gate at five. I take off at 5.40. I land in Perth at 9.30, I think. I haven't even booked a hotel yet, so I'm gonna do that right now before my flight. Perth should be awesome too, because I've never ridden Perth before. So um, it'll be something a little bit different, I guess. Jenny or
or warm welcome home, and we do hope to see you again soon. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your evening. My god guys, it is the next morning. What is up? I'm wide awake. I have my meet and greet today, but I'm about to actually end technically the video. Yeah, you just watched, so yesterday from yeah, yeah, you kinda get the point. It is the next morning. I got to my hotel room and I literally just like fell asleep straight away on this bed. As you can see, I had some chocolate, I had some chips, and I dude. Okay, I decided to refilm the outro this morning so I could actually show you my hotel room because last night it was super dark and there's like no lights on that side of the room which is kind of weird and you couldn't see outside either and dude, I need to show you the view outside. So it's the next morning guys. Yesterday was absolutely crazy. All the day you just watched I guess was absolutely crazy. Look at the freaking mirror. What is up? Say what's up to the vlog. Quick hotel tour and then uh, I'm going to wrap it up. So you walk in this door and uh, you got some light switches. You got a mirror right here. You got a bed just... Oh jeez, that's a... There's the, that's a mirror, okay. That's my bed right there. You got a bathroom in there. I kind of unpacked my suitcase a little bit and uh, dude, okay. Look at the freaking view I have. My new backyard reveal in three, two, one. Oh my God, look at that freaking pool. The beach is literally right over there. There are waves breaking, surfers catching waves as we speak. You can see a little bit more of the beach. Just there, beautiful palm trees, but that pool, oh my god. Okay, look, this is my room where I sleep. I'm currently editing the video that you're watching right now. This is my room. And then this is like, I've, I've got a freaking balcony that I can chill on, and then I've got this pool. That is absolutely insane. I got no words, guys. It is absolutely insane. Uh, I gotta finish editing, and then I gotta get to my meet and greet in like four hours or so. Uh, that'll all be in tomorrow's video. Uh, I'm probably gonna film tomorrow's video over two days, but I have really no clue. Uh, and then I technically leave uh, Perth tomorrow, which is the day you're watching this video, and I go to Adelaide, which is when I really start hitting the awesome street spots that you guys want to see. But uh, for right now, today, for this video, it is over. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe for more awesome scooter riding videos like the one you just watched. Turn on post notifications so you get notified every single time I upload a video and become a part of the notification squad by using the hashtag notification squad in the comment section below, along with dropping a like while you're at it. And uh, with that being said, that is a wrap for today's video. I cannot believe that I caveman board slided the, uh, the handrail that went into the uh, into the pool of my last hotel that was absolutely insane if you want to see me do more awesome stuff like that with all that being said have an amazing day guys i will see you all in my next video thank you so much for watching peace